So if you look at if you look at our company, we our whole mantra is to provide prop, you know quality products and services, and our biggest asset by far is our people. Uh, we support our people, uh, we give them all the tools, and then we let them operate. Shane, Shane is the GM here at the Mullen Center. It's his little business to run. We support him, we work with him, and we have systems. We let our people grow, and, and we, we want entrepreneurs. We want to create shows. We want to do new and bigger things. So my whole spiel, what does that mean for you? A couple things I want to talk about today. I think it's very important, and, and I'll interrelate my experiences, and you, you heard some. There's three real areas I want to talk about. One is investment. Two is the marketplace. And really, three is, is the ultimate opportunity. And I'll start with investment. I, I think, you know, in today's world, what should somebody between 19 and 24 invest in? Should it be bonds? Should it be real estate? You know, what should it be? Well, I'll tell you right now, the best investment you can make by far is yourself. Right? Invest in yourself. It's one of the greatest times of your life. You've got freedom, you don't have a lot of obligations, and you have time on your hands. Use that time effectively to invest in your career and in your future. And have fun. Don't have more fun at UMass than I did. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> uh, that blue wall was a lot more fun than it is now, let me tell you. This is of alcohol, Aerosmith was here, it was great. Uh, but, but invest in yourself, all right? You know, get involved, and I don't want to sound like some old guy talking to you, but this really is the truth. Just get involved, you know, whether you're, you're an usher at the Mullen Center, you work the changeover crew, or you volunteer in the athletic department. Okay, volunteer, maybe someone's doing a market study in Springfield, you know, the American League team. You know, get yourself involved in the business. It's so important. And then obviously the internship. If you can do an internship, we do. We run hundreds of them through. I mean, I'm telling you right now, we will do an internship with everybody in this room if they want. I mean, that's not an issue. Get in there and get get your face and your ideas and your work habits in front of of people like myself. You know, I had so many mentors, starting with Guy Lewis, okay, Tony Tavares, David Rosemont. I can name these people that helped me in my career. And I can't really pay them back. I just can't. I mean, you know, I've had a fun career. I've enjoyed myself. I've met friends along the way. And love what I do. The best way for myself and Cindy Stutman and Jen over here and Mark Schwartz, the best way we can pay our mentors back is to help you. Okay? We all started at the bottom, at the very bottom. Okay? You know, I, I ran the scoreboard in the American Hockey League games. I would go down and sell tickets. I was the marketing guy who didn't know anything about what he was doing. And, and you learn, and, and so we all were you, believe it or not. All right, we're a little more dated now, but we were all you and we want to help you. All right, and as you walk around this career fair today, just remember that everybody you're going to meet started from scratch, started from the bottom. Anybody who's any good in this business started from the bottom. So the big thing is take advantage of that investment in yourself, okay? And just remember to invest in yourself. Second place is the marketplace. Here's a little bit of the bad news. When I came out of school in 1981, the job market was atrocious. It was brutal. Uh, inflation was huge. I know my, my first car loan, believe it or not, when you hear this, my first car loan was 23%. You know, I, I could do better from the loan shark in South Philly right now than, than I did in and it was brutal. Well, unfortunately, it's 30 years later, and it's the first time since then the economy's that bad. And you guys are in the midst of it. And, and it's hard. But, you know, it, and it's a tough time to go out and find a job. It, it's tight. But, but at the same time, it, there's a lot, of, a lot of opportunity. You guys, you guys are the digital world right now, okay? You guys, I, you know, I fumbled through my Blackberry because my mind was trained that way. The internet was new to me. Uh, I don't tweet, you know, I, Facebook I don't dare go on because I run a hockey team, you know, you believe some of the stuff you get. And and guys my age and, and others, we, we weren't born in this digital world, right? Your minds think digitally. That is so valuable in the marketplace today because the whole world has changed. You know, the, the 
marketing, it, I, I started marketing, I love marketing, I, it's just fantastic. There's so many new ways to market now, and you guys are the ones coming up with all the ideas. And our company, and that's where I want to get into the opportunity, we love to hire young people, because we were all young when we got hired. I started the company, I was 26. We love to hire young people and grow them through our system and, and, and let them grow and use their ideas and, and find new ways to market. So if, if you're in sports, as tough as the marketplace is today, and it's difficult, it's the best time to be getting into sports because, you know, since the advent of the arena, I think this is the biggest revolution in sports ever, is the digitizing of sports. Whether it's the digitizing of our media, if you look at the websites, you know, the content, we need content on websites. The digitizing of our marketing. Virtually, virtually 80, 90% of our, of our effective marketing right now is done through our database management and marketing. All right, it's how do we, how do we, how do we one, find that customer, how do we make an offer to that customer, and then how do we continue to make offers to that customer without being a pest, without being spam. And, and you're the guys that think that way. You're the guys that are texting each other. You're the guys that grew up in this era. So as tough as the economy is right now, it's just a great, great time to be in our business and a great time to take advantage of some knowledge that somebody, you may think you have no experience, but you've got more experience than virtually most people 30, 35 and older. So it's a, I think it's an outstanding time. So I, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I, I, I do want to say thank you all. It, it's a real honor to, to be back here at school. I, I do get up here from time to time. And, you know, I, I, it's just great to see this campus and everything. And I, I just want to leave you again with the thoughts in your mind is, you know, please, please invest in yourself. Take advantage of that. And when it comes to opportunity, I think the opportunity is fantastic. And I just want you to know all of us at Comcast Vector Corps are here to answer questions and to help any of you, you know, find your career. And, and that's just one last piece I did want to mention because it's very important and I skipped it. I didn't mean to. Find a way in this tough marketplace. Find a way in that door. Okay? I wanted to work for the Boston Bruins so bad. Okay? I thought I wanted to be involved in the hockey part maybe and all that. But get yourself, you know, get in your internship. All right? Volunteer. Find a way in the door. I found a way in marketing. I, I, you know, for me, marketing was going to the grocery store. I didn't know anything about it. But then I learned to love it. And then I found my way to be a general manager of a facility and then eventually, you know, be in charge of the hockey team that, that I always wanted to be in charge of the hockey team. So get your foot in the door, okay? That is so important. Invest in yourself, get that foot in the door, all right, and then take advantage of the opportunity and the rest will be history. Thank you. the career fair and the McCormick Department of Sport Management. This is for you. And from here we